Hey, what's up everyone? Today I'm going to be showing you how to do calibration with the MU series camera. Um, this would work for all the MU cameras that we have, ranging from the uh, MU 1000, 300, 900, all the different megapixels of the MU camera series. Um, it may not work for the MD camera series, even though it uses the same software. Usually for measurements and stuff, we recommend using the MU camera series. Okay? So, first things first, you're going to go ahead and make sure your software is installed. Um, the newest um, software that we do have is a uh, version, uh, let me double check here, uh, 3.7.3036. So before we start, let me go ahead and open this up and show you how to check it if you have the most recent software, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and double click on that. And there you go, it loaded. And in order for you to check the recent version, just go ahead and right on top here, click help and click about and uh, it gives you all the information about your current software here so right here it's version x86 3.7.3036 now that's the most recent version if you don't have that I'll include the link down below in the comment section so you could go ahead and download that from the Dropbox link that we have from our site um, and after you do that just you know go ahead uninstall the current software you have and then just reinstall this one okay so a lot of uh, people who usually call in, they say that uh, they calibrated it, but for some reason the calibration is coming out wrong, or it's still coming out in pixels. Uh, that could basically mean that you might have uh, calibrated it incorrectly, okay? So first things first, let's go ahead and go to the menu bar where it says options, and go to magnification. Now over here you can see that I already made a uh, calibration, but since I'm going to start from scratch, or let's say that you guys made the wrong magnification or something, or wrong calibration, I'm going to go ahead and click delete, and it's going to ask you, uh, are you sure you want to delete it, and you click yes. And after you do that, don't click cancel. If you click cancel, it's going to go ahead and um, bring it back again. So make sure that after you click delete, click OK. And I'm just going to go ahead and double check, so options, and then magnification. And my past calibration, it's it's gone, so that's good. Now, to activate the camera, uh, after you plug in the camera, you open up the software, your camera should show up in the camera list here. So right now I have an MU303 connected. So I'm going to go ahead and select that. And right here it brings up a new tab where it says Video MU303. This is a live this is the live screen video that I'm seeing from my microscope. And uh, on this right now, I do have a micrometer stage, uh, a micrometer stage slide. Uh, basically, this stage is uh, graduated in uh, 0 0.01 millimeters, so the entire length of it, going from left to right, is uh, one millimeter. So let me go ahead and refocus on that on my microscope. I'm going to use the fine adjust adjustment tool, and as you can see, it's going to get more into focus. And that should be perfect. Okay. And right now I'm moving it around with my um, XY uh, stage. Okay. And from here, um, if it's not bright enough, I mean, you could always adjust the light on your microscope to make it brighter, dimmer. Or if that's still not good enough for you, on the left hand side here where, where it says exposure and gain, you could uh, click this drop down list and unclick auto exposure and you could manually expose it to make it brighter if you want okay so i'm going to go ahead and leave it at that and i'm going to go ahead and, and i'm going to minimize it because what i'm seeing right now is uh, this exposure box but i don't want to see that anymore so I'll go ahead and click this and it should disappear now moving on in order to calibrate basically you have to have your percentage here at 100 percent up here right underneath the menu bar Go ahead and have that 100%. And these two other drop down lists will be important later on, and I'll, I'll show you why in, a, in just in a little bit. Um, so, first thing, you do want to make sure that you're at the highest resolution. Um, don't calibrate at the lowest resolution because it's not going to be accurate. Um, but before you switch this over, um, you need to go to where it says frame rate here on the left hand side. And right now I have it on the middle, but I'm going to make it low, okay? For a lot of users who have the frame rate set to high, 
and then they change the capture and resolution to the highest setting, what happens is that the software crashes on them or it says like USB live transfer timeout or something like that. Uh, part of it could be because your camera can't uh, handle the highest resolution or something. So I'm going to go ahead and lower this frame rate level all the way to low just simply by clicking it and there you go low and I'm going to change this to the highest one for my camera which will be 2048 by 1534 and you see when I do that the screen changes and it's a little bit more clear uh, the calibration slide on my screen uh, for some of you when you put the camera in it might be crooked like this or maybe like this or something basically just get your camera and straighten and straighten it out on the actual microscope itself and try to make it as straight as possible okay and I think that's pretty accurate so I'm gonna leave it like that so from here after you have all those settings complete you're gonna go back to where it says um, options and you're gonna go ahead and click calibrate okay and here's a warning it said the current zoom level is set to 40 to get the exact number please set the zoom level to 100 do you still want to continue um, no I don't <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and change it back to 100 just up here 100% and I'm really zoomed in I can see that it's kinda out of focus so let me just adjust that again and readjust focus okay that's a little bit better now so again I'm gonna go to options and calibrate so after you open up the calibration box it's gonna or after you click the calibration button it's gonna bring up this calibrate box okay and I'm just gonna move it out of the way a bit uh, let's see where I could put it maybe over here so you guys can see so there's a the calibrate box and when you do that you see this really long li red line here what this line is gonna dictate is the actual length that you would put in this box okay so whatever I measure here is what I'm going to put on the actual length here. So right now on my microscope, I have the 4x objective set. I'm using a T490 series microscope. You, uh, I'll include the link for that down below so you can check it out if you want to um, see the system specs on it and stuff. But basically, there's four objectives on it. Uh, these are the uh, rotating objectives on the bottom, just in case uh, if you weren't sure. So one is 4, 10, 40, and 100. And for calibrating your microscope, you have to make sure that you calibrate for each individual objective. So everything I'm going through right now, you're going to have to calibrate for each of the objectives on the microscope. Okay? So right now I'm on the 4. So for magnification on the drop down here, I'm going to choose 4. Alright? And for actual length, uh, this scale is in millimeters here. So each individual line, even the small ones here, not just these, the big long lines here, each of the small lines is 0 0.01. So if I were to measure from, let's say, uh, I grab this point over here and drag it here, and I drag it to the middle line right here, this is basically 0.5. Okay. So just to be a little bit more accurate, just to be a little bit more accurate and make sure that I'm a little bit closer to what I want, I'm going to go ahead and do something a bit closer. So it'd be a uh, Point one, two, three, four, five. So this would be 0 0.05. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure that this red line, you see how it kind of breaks there? You want to make sure it's perfectly straight. Okay. So there you have it. It's perfectly straight. And I'm going to put right here in the actual length uh, 0 0.05 millimeters. And I'm going to click OK. And that's going to save it. So let me show you what this means. So what this means that I cal what this means is that I calibrated it for the forex objective on this microscope, so that whenever I measure it later on in the software, that the line uh, will measure it correctly when I choose it from this drop-down list at forex. Okay. So let's just see how that comes into comes into play right now. So I'm going to go ahead and close this video, and I'm going to go ahead and reopen the camera. There it is again. There it reappears. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and make the magnification like 150. All right, make it even more accurate. So I'm gonna go ahead and refocus this to, just to make sure it's clear. All right, uh, let's try to go 100. All right, so I'm here again. 
Now, as always, I do have the 4x objective set. I haven't changed it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and click 4x. And where it says pixels, I want to measure this in millimeters. Uh, just to check for accuracy, okay? Um, so here it is, millimeters. And what I'm going to do right here is on the very top, you could choose your lines. Uh, I want to make a parallel line or uh, an uh, ellipse or a square or something like rectangle, whatever. Um, but right now I'm going to go ahead and do a straight line. So I chose the line and I'm going to measure it from this point to the middle and the, the measurement that should come up is 0.5 and as you can see it's pretty accurate I mean I could have done it a little bit better but right now it says point it's a little bit off 0.48 that's close enough right now just for this demonstration so every time that I do measure it it's always going to come up as that uh, it's always going to come up that accurate. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and uh, calibrate for the other objectives, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and right now it has a measurement box open here. I'm going to go back to the camera and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and delete this. So to delete this line, you have to choose the object select up here, and you would uh, select that uh, setting there and on your keyboard you have to click the delete button and then it's going to ask you are you sure you want to remove all the selected items and you shoot and you click yes so right now i'm going to go ahead and uh basically readjust and uh try to do the 10x objective now for uh calibration so usually for this part what i do is i lower the magnification back to the lowest one or middle one so 1024 by 770 Okay, 1024 by 770. Okay, so the only reason why I changed that is so that I could move it around freely, make sure it's good. And now I'm going to go back to 2048 by 1534. And up here, I'm going to change the magnification back to NA. And I'm going to change it to 100%. And I'm going to go ahead and refocus real quick. And now we do the same step as we did before. So you would go to Options, Calibrate. The magnification is still 4, so let me go ahead and bring it onto the 10x objective. Now it's a little bit blurry again. So I'm going to go ahead and readjust my microscope so that it's in focus. There you go. OK. And again, I'm using the, the gliding table just to move this around. Alright, that should be good. So from here I'm going to go ahead, go ahead and click options, click on magnet, uh, calibrate, and right now I do have the, the 10x objective again. So for magnification box, I'm going to choose 10, and the actual length again, this is again this is in millimeters, so you do have to grab the red line from one end and place it as accurately as possible on the micrometer stage or micrometer slide, whatever you want to call it. And again, this is this is all in 0.01. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and that's 0 0.05. So I'm going to make sure that this red line is as straight as possible, make sure there are no breaks. You see all those breaks right here. And once I do that, so that would be the actual length. I'm going to try to make it more accurate than I did the last time. Make sure that the red lines touch the, the ends of the black lines here. Okay. So right here on this red box is 140.800 pixels. Uh, that's not important because we know that this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 0 0.05. So actual length in this box, go ahead and type in 0 0.05. And go ahead and click OK. Now what that did was it went ahead and saved the calibration for the 10x. So now I have both of the objectives, the 4 and the 10 from this microscope. Now it's saved permanently on my computer unless I decide to uh, uninstall the program or delete it manually. So just to make sure that um, this is correct, uh, let's go ahead and test it out again. So I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, measurement layer is modified. Do you want to save changes? No, I don't want to do that. So I'm going to just close that out, reopen the camera here. And 
and there you have it. There's the micrometer stage, and let's just go ahead and make sure that the measurement I just made is correct. So again here, it says NA. You're going to change that to the objective that you just uh, worked with, or the current objective you have set on the microscope. And I'm going to go ahead, let's go uh, 150 this time. Okay. And I'm just going to go ahead and choose the line option on top here, on, underneath the menu bar, just like before. And I'm going to measure this point to this point. And there you go, 0 0.05. Perfect calibration. Uh, didn't make any mistakes on this on this one at all. Okay, yeah, so there you go. I went ahead and measured that 0 0.05, and it should be pretty accurate from now on. So let's go ahead and get the line again. And we're going to measure it from this point up to here. And make sure that the line is straight, there are no breaks. And yeah, that that is uh, 0.28. So this is uh, how you do the measurements and calibration on the on the microscope. Again, for each and each and every individual objective, you're going to have to go ahead and calibrate for that. So just follow these steps, and uh, you should be fine on calibrating for the MU camera series. If you have any other questions, um, go ahead and you can comment below. And I'll also include links to the software and also the uh, the camera and also the microscope I was using. All right, that's pretty much it. You guys have a good one.